Waiting for packages is the worst thing ever, but technology has a fix. Drones to the rescue! Hey folks, Trace here for DNews. The world of drones is sort of like the Wild West. These flying machines have very few laws governing their activities, so people are using them for all sorts of crazy stuff. Unmanned aircraft whizzing overhead, delivering things. What is this, the Ministry of Magic? Currently, the Federal Aviation Administration has the lawsuit pending against a photographer who used unmanned drones to take pictures of the University of Virginia's campus. At the time in 2011, there were very few laws regulating what the FAA considers model airplanes or anything under 55 pounds. But in 2012, they reevaluated, and now drones have some rules. Not many, but some. The highest a private or commercial drone is legally allowed to fly is 400 feet, but the lowest for regular airplanes is 700 feet. Without laws and regulations, sometimes bad things happen. A remote helicopter scalped a 19-year-old man in Brooklyn only last month. Ugh. Back in May, a music festival in South Africa put drones to work on an epic mission. Using their cell phones, they could order beer, and it was brought right to their face. That should always exist all the time in normal society. At the time, the drones were remotely controlled by human pilots, but in the future, they will be all GPS all the time. Now a company is planning to follow in their footsteps, so to speak. Students who got their textbooks from Zucal in Australia can order them online, and then minutes later, a commercial drone company, Flirty, will deliver them to you online, to your hands in minutes. This is revolutionary. And it is not hard to imagine Amazon or Best Buy or somebody else sending drones with your stuff. But what about the other way? Say I want to send something to someone else. Well, you could use this horrifying contraption to come get it from you. This clawed drone could be used to swoop down and steal your children, or maybe an old iPhone that you just sold on eBay or whatever, and take it to the person who bought it. It's still fiction for now, but hey, if one of you guys starts the company, just give me some credit, okay? And if all of this wasn't enough to convince you that the shipping industry is heading for a big change, the US Navy is working on 3D printed drones. Their public affairs office admits it's not quite ready, but it is not far off either. What if in 20 or 30 years we could just order something on our phones, have it delivered, or pick it up from wherever we are in a flying contraption and take it where you want? I mean, it's no apparition, but it's not bad. How do you feel about all this? Are drones freaking you out, or are you already jamming on your phone looking for that sky beer? Let us know in the comments and subscribe here on YouTube because even drones can't deliver D-News yet.